this is my story of my daily life. Go swimming to the Alamona Beach Park every day. Try watch and try listen. Aloha. Out here by the rocks today. This is the rocks here. We used to give them names, like we called one the frog, and the other one was the wicked witch. But <laughs> they're all destroyed now. They're all destroyed now. <laughs> this just the way like this, bro. It's the kind, bro. La la. This is Alamona Beach Park. Over down there is where the the Waikiki, that's where the tourists will stay, over there, having their fun in the sandbox. But some tourists come here, Korean, Japanese, sometimes, lots of times, like, during the other years before the pandemic, they have uh, Japanese picture sessions for uh, the weddings. Goes over there, way over there. That's where they have, like, the Japanese, uh, that's where they get the services for the the parties after the wedding, the wedding reception over there. In that big building over there right by the tower. Here comes a surfer, paddleboarder. And the building still building. The uh, kind over here. The condos and apartments. First and one start was just a couple. The one right here by the beach, that was never there, of course. And then they had the yellow stripe building there. They had the kind, the, I can't remember the name of, of that circular one there. Then they start building all these other ones all the way down. Oh, scary. I must say one build so much. This Kaka Ako area over there. So every day I come out here, go swimming. I'm looking for the kind. The airplane's going over. And I'm waiting for the Korean flight KE, I think it's 54, 53 or 54. And it goes uh, flying um, the 747. And I love that plane. And it's beautiful color. So clean, waiting for it to pop up because it's about 1.10, 1.15 now and that's when it, that's when it comes up every day, every day. So Saturday and Sundays is late, it comes up like 1.40, 1.50. See the rocks over there. You can fish on the other side of those rocks, you can catch them, snapper. In the kind fish, but you got to be careful because the coral is really sharp, and also they got eels over there. And you know what? Eel, if it grabs you wrist by the wrist or by the leg or something, it can hold you down and then you perish. But no, nah, nah, that can happen today. That's why I don't go near the rocks. Oh, look at the clouds, so nice. <clears throat> I have allergies, that's why my voice is so hoarse. I don't know, I have allergies so much. So you can see the construction over there, bro. For the kind. The, all that block. I said, okay, I'm going to use my finger here. See the fuck kind over there? That one building right there. Oh, right there, I mean. All those buildings over there. Like the last two years. I don't know, three years if that one really far, that's... That bunker is uh, downtown. Over here, this is my, uh, my target. I, um, I swim all the way, see, over there? All the way over here, I follow the rocks. Follow the rocks. There it is! There it is! Oh my god, there she goes! 
Korean Airlines. Oh, you can barely see it. See it? I'll try to get it close up. There she goes. This, oh wait, is that Korean Airlines? It's gotta be. Well, today is farther away for some reason. Is it Korean Airlines? It's gotta be. 747. There she goes. Yeah, that's Korean Airlines. There she goes. Wow, beautiful. And over here is the. See you later. It's going to Incheon. Going from here to Incheon, which is, uh, I think it's 11 hour flight on the 747. And over here is my turnaround spot. This is where I turn around. One day I will come out here. We're streaming. And uh, I got the whitehead turtle, the bug. The bug is the biggest one in here. He's got one big head. And when he sticks his head up, you can see it. It's like, he looked like a snake. But anyways, he came over here. And, when, and this is when they had first put, this is a new buoy here. And when they first put it in, the bugger came over here. And he, he kept on going around and around this thing with his head turned up and looking at it like, what the? <laughs> it's one long lost relative or something. But nah, nah. It's funny that day. But this is my turnaround spot here. <clears throat> I go around here. See, and today the, the water's really calm. Normally, there's a really... Well, not normally, but... I would say pretty often, there's a pretty strong, like, current. But today, I could barely feel it. And it's coming this way towards the the kind towards this one. It's towards this buoy here. And when you go swim back, it's hard to swim back because they're fighting the current. So today is almost no current. Today is really quiet. The ocean's taking a break, I think. It's like that. Okay, that just about concludes my tour. Hope you guys liked it. If you like, <laughs> don't, don't like it. <laughs> I don't care, because I did it for myself. Okay, aloha. Oh, wait, one more thing. See the big barge out there? Wow, they're kind of sleep pulling it. The tiny little tugboat. <laughs> the tiny little tugboat is pulling that barge. Because that's not a ship, that's a barge. And hold on. That, that barge, it delivers all the stuff. The stuff come in on airplanes or other boats. And then that kind of barge, they could pull by the, to the tugboat. See the tugboat, you can see them. You can see the tugboat and the barge. So the tiny little tugboat, unbelievable, pulls that huge barge to the other islands, to go to the outer islands like uh, Maui and Molokai and Kauai because here's the center, yeah? Oahu, or big island. But, see, now I can feel the current going home. Oh, what's that girl doing over there? She's like chilling over there. Anyways, you can see over there Waikiki, bro. It's only for the foreign, the, the tourist people. See, over there? There's Diamond Head over there. Okay, enough already. Tired. And finally, the picture of the underwater. I want to show you one turtle because they're usually out here. But of course, since they brought my camera, they're not out here today. Not at all. I didn't see one at all today. 
so I'm just gonna let that thing go and see what happens. Okay, ladies. Oh, and one more thing. You know the kind. Oh, Philippine Airlines flies directly over here too. So you can see them fly over the antenna and go up in this area here. I watch them every day. This water, the sea creatures in this water. If you guys don't know this, that this was always man-made. So the Magic Island over there is all man-made, like in the late 50s, early 60s. And they dredged up this whole area, this whole area here, all the way down to there, um, to fill in where the Alamona Mall is, and to fill in where Magic Island is, over there is the Magic Island. So, Oh shoot, these guys are far away now. So, the reason, that's the reason why I say that is because there's nothing really that comes in here. But, um, you see where the breaking is over there? It's where the boys go surfing. That's where it gets a little, get deeper after those. Can you see them? After those boys that you see breaking out there. So we have box jellyfish here at once a month. <coughs> Sorry, allergies. And we have Portuguese men of war. But Portuguese men of war, they normally only come when uh, kind of uh, what they call onshore winds, the like corner winds. Corner winds come from the south, and they push the kind the mm, the Portuguese men of war in here. But worse than that recently is the babies they push in here. There they go to firemen. Finishing up their, uh, actually they're recruits. And they're finishing up their training. Running back to, with the boards. And here comes Mr. Stan the Man. Stand the man! Hey! <laughs> it's not all a Syrian thing. How you been? Oh, good. You came back already. Yeah, right. Gonna go again. Uh, you went there and came back. Went and came back. And then, well, uh, every six weeks I go Philippines. Well, that's good. At least break the monotony, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy.